It's going to make people go to the fringes. It's going to make people hide. It's going to make people run away. I have to go to this appointment so I don't go to jail. All right, everything's good. Everything's good. Yep, glad to see you. Good, good. See you next month. Just to say it's assisted outpatient. Okay, well, what's the consequences for not doing it? You may say there aren't any, but eventually someone's going to find a way to enforce this thing. It's a court order, right? It's a, it's a, it is a legal requirement. For me, the most helpful therapeutic when I was, you know, coming out of these situations was like Alcoholics Anonymous because they didn't make me go there. Um, if I didn't show up, they'd be worried about me. They wouldn't come looking for me. Um, and that. Freedom to leave is actually the thing that kept me there. I'm just going to court. Well, I'm going to the same court as the folks who are there for being suspected of committing crimes. If I don't show up to the hearing, they're going to put a warrant out for me. That's what courts do. The anxiety of it, the trauma of like, okay, you're saying it's not a crime. I just went to court. Well, what happens at court? You can say that this part of the criminal justice system doesn't send you to jail, but we have a 400 year history in this country of, well, they might not send you to jail at the beginning, but they're a court. They're a court, they have the power to do it. They will figure out how to wield that power at some point. And even if they don't, I still exist in that history. This then becomes even more complicated if you're a black or brown person because just being at the court puts me into contact with law enforcement. And in that contact, I still deal with all the disparities that I deal with in my personal life. It's another experience to survive, just like the appointment I was ducking that you sent me to court for. The most important thing to me is that you know, my kid still wants me to be their parent tomorrow, that they still want to engage with me. And if they watch me try to keep them safe to their own detriment, to if I'm making decisions like you should go to this court, well, they're going to slowly start to cut me out of that decision making. It might not be today or tomorrow that they can do that, but eventually they will. The issue with using legislation is you are using a sledgehammer for a very specific problem. And we can't always foresee the long-term consequences of that. While it may seem tempting in the individual circumstances, just remember, you won't always be the person wanting the government to intervene in your interpersonal relationships. But once you open that door for government to do it, that door stays open.